Hello beautiful people. So today I will be digging up my dark past to read a very old webtoon of mine called Head in the Clouds and this webtoon you can read online, L-I-N-E, the website or the app. It was an old webtoon I made back in high school and recently I did a reboot of it which you can still read online, the same thing. So go ahead and read it if you have the time, I highly recommend that. But today I'm going to be taking a look at its origins, the backstory, where it all started. So yeah, let's go take a look at it, shall we? So here we have Head in the Clouds, a romance and comedy created by Printa. So this name has a bit of history to it, it's quite long but I won't explain too much about it. It's pretty much just me poking fun at myself back in the day, so that's why I called myself Purinta. Um, yeah, no need to go off the deep end on that, so let's read the description. <laughs> Williamson University is a renowned academy home to many talented students and child prodigies. Rachie Hill, who's only loved nothing but dance, runs into Chris Chan, the ace of the volleyball team. He's tiny, mean, and scary, which drives off a lot of people, but deep down, he's really just a cinnamon roll. How will their unexpected meeting change the lives of both Chris and Rachie? Okay. <laughs> off the bat, the title, sorry, not the title, but the name Williamson University, is a name that I didn't give that much thought, to be honest, because I just looked up in Google uh, universities in the United States and then I just jumbled up some words together and then came up with that. That's how I landed on the name Williamson University. I don't even know why it's called Williamson. Like, who is it named after? Who is Williamson? And I'm so sorry for my dog once again. That's kind of a long running thing. On this channel that my dog just likes to bark incessantly behind like the background of my videos so just deal with it pretty much the basic setup of this story is that you know girl meets boy and she kind of becomes entranced by boy and kind of wants to get closer to him basically is the whole you know setup or the idea behind this webtoon but fun fact there is actually no real plot to this webtoon which is why I had a hard time making it because I had no plan in mind whatsoever what the story was going to be like and that's why I struggled so much. Let's go take a look at the prologue. And the prologue, if I remember correctly, I actually redid three times just because I had no idea what the story was going to be like and so I had to go back and redo it just so that I could connect it to like the kind of story I wanted so yeah and I just thought my art was pretty crap Ooh, okay I'm still using the same text by the way like the same font I'm still using that but the moment I laid my eyes on him <laughs> The writing? Mmm, she tried. She was trying. Okay, the hydrangeas randomly sparse in the background. Uh huh, I can tell those are hydrangeas. Only I can tell. Okay, yeah, I was really into the whole doe eyed face back then with really huge eyes and small lips. And I know, I know she has the color palette of Fluttershy and that was really not intended at all and I only just realized it after, like, oh, she looks like Fluttershy, so, yeah. That beautiful figure that soared through the skies. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, not the pure black. You're kidding. You're kidding. Who told you you could use pure black? Yeah, so this webtoon really was an avenue, a portal to allow me to learn many things because what's crazy is that I made this webtoon in a time or during a time where I wasn't really comfortable with drawing male bodies or males in general. So me drawing this was a whole new learning experience and I think it was like what gave me the confidence to sort of step out and just 
you know, do things outside of my comfort zone. And I think that's an important thing why if you want to do something, just do it. Like there is no right time for anything. Like no matter how much you tell yourself, oh, I can't do this yet because I don't feel ready. Like I don't have the skills for that yet. Sometimes you just need to go ahead and do the thing. Really like stop, you know, fussing about everything. Just do it. This was actually the second logo I made because the first logo, yeah, looked worse, but this was the second. It's actually pretty cute. You know, it's cute, it's cute. And this was my old Instagram. Um, so I'm just gonna check the comments. And <laughs> so this is actually my favorite comment that asked though. I don't know, it's just funny. And this one, we love a good ass. Mm hmm yeah it, it was it's pretty much all about the ass okay oh it was actually not the prologue that i redid three times it was actually episode one and the prologue i just kept the same so basically the prologue um was kind of like the foundation for this whole thing and i pretty much just went into the prologue drawing my little thing and having fun while I wasn't thinking of the bigger picture. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how the plot of this webtoon kind of just went downhill, pretty much there on. So, let's go to episode one. Okay, episode one, A Prodigy's Dwelling Place. Ooh. Williamson University has always been my dream school. Yes, I love the SketchUp. Just learned how to do SketchUp, guys. Yes! one of the top class colleges in the country known for sports, fine arts, and entertainment. As a child, all I've ever known was dance. Every day of my childhood was spent refining my craft, and to finally be here is a dream come true. But who knew I would be fated to encounter numerous misfortunes on my first day here? And that's it. She's lost. She's basically just lost. Okay, let's go to episode Two. That was a really short episode one, but that was the only time I had like that was the maximum Amount of panels I could do at the time. I was really really slow in drawing. I still am but <laughs> I've improved somewhat Episode two the regal falcon <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure the dorms are around here though this this is weird. I don't like that. I don't like this three-headed scenario going on. Could I have made a wrong turn somewhere? Whoa, campus grounds. Okay, she's really making use of the SketchUp. That perspective though, <laughs> that perspective is really bothering me. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little peek wouldn't hurt. What is she doing? What is this pose? Why? And what? What? No. And just the prologue again. Yeah. Hey you, watch out. Who said you could use black? And what the hell is with that bubble? What is with that text bubble? It looks like you made that in paint, but I know you did this in Photoshop. I know you did this in Photoshop. And who said you could do this text bubble? Who said? who said it was okay. Not me. Like, why didn't you just use the circle tool? Brushes is in. <laughs> um. no! I love how we can see the A and N, but we can't see the H. <laughs> cool. Yeah, gradient. She learned how to use the gradient tool. Okay, episode three. I met a Japanese beauty. Yeah, same two panels again. Oh, uh, what just happened? Hey, are you okay? Hmm? You didn't even call her in the eyes, girl. Sorry about that. Our guys were quite careless. It's a Japanese beauty. Another beautiful person. Ask the Vajika dumbfounded hey you two come here and apologize right now 
We're sorry, we didn't think it would hit anyone. Haha, uh -huh. it's fine. It's also my fault for just barging in here. Uh, it's an angel, unlike manager. You two get back to practice. Anyways, I'm Bea, the manager of the volleyball team. The demon manager. Get back to practice, you dip. Oh! Oh my god! Profanity? No way. Wow, well, scary. Don't want her on my bad side. As I was saying, I'm glad you're not hurt. It was a good thing Chris was there in time to save you. Chris? Yeah, Chris Chan. He's the ace of the volleyball team. He can be pretty scary with that glare of his though. And from the looks of it, you must be a tourist. Eh? Um, since you're already here, I wouldn't mind giving you a tour of the campus. What? Really? Uh, then. Come, come, there's a lot to show you. Uh, wait. What's manager up to now? Um, yeah, cool. That was longer than the previous ones. Improvement! Okay, let's look at episode 4 then. Oh boy. I spilled my Dr. Tomato. This was supposed to be a take on Dr. Pepper. I don't know why I decided on Dr. Tomato. I don't know who told her that it was a good name, but it's not. Stop using pure black. Okay, so this part, she spilled her Dr. Tomato on the guy and I don't know why, but you can't tell that it's even spilled on him because what? And how do you even, I don't know. I don't know how that's physically possible, but yeah. And then after that, I did some kind of Valentine's Day special. Mm, happy Valentine's Day, that's cute, that's cute. And this is supposed to be me, the author. Wow, love the uwus, guys. Important announcement. Head in the clouds will be taking a short break? No. I will be taking a short break for a while, so there will be no uploads next week. School is getting pretty hectic, and I've been having terrible acid reflux. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> my acid reflux was pretty bad back in the day because I would never eat my meals in time. And I just had a terrible, like, diet overall. And this was in high school. I was, like, 8th grade or something around this time. Episode 5, Two Idiots. Um, yeah, it's just this panel and then she starts screaming, what's wrong? And what's, what's with the glow effects, huh? Okay. Okay. That's pretty cute. That's cute. I like the chibi here. I can't draw chibis very well, but that one's pretty cute. Plonk sound effects and this was when I totally gave up doing backgrounds because I just did solid color <laughs> not the profanity mm, yeah I, I don't know what was with my humor back then? And why do you have this shirt in the first place? Oh, I remember making the webtoon and Psy. Everything was like all done inside the drawing and stuff, but the typesetting and everything else was in Photoshop. So, yeah. I don't know why I just didn't use Photoshop to draw as well, but I guess the UI of Photoshop is kind of intimidating. So, that's that put me off from using it for actual drawing. <laughs> Okay. It's 
the end episode that's the last episode and i got 300 subscribers oh wow that is amazing congratulations passed me anyways that was the end i'm glad that was the last episode because i couldn't stand it and i was bored out of my mind um but that was pretty much the webtoon and there's not a lot to say actually um in case you're interested in reading this you can't read it anymore because i actually deleted it and this is this video is pretty much the only evidence that this relic even existed so don't bother trying to read this because you'll never be able to but it's okay i'm doing you guys a favor you don't want to just read the reboot instead it's much better and has better art obviously because i've improved over this long period of time so thank you so much for watching this short video ish but yeah uh, i hope you guys check out the webtoon online i'll leave the link in the description below thank you so much for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video hope and pray it will be an art related one bye